the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Now we're going to do the, uh, this is, this is the Resurrection Sunday. Oh, I really call it Victorious Resurrection Sunday. Uh, for those of us who recognize the importance of it, it's the Victorious Resurrection Sunday. Uh, and, and, and look, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not the actual day that, uh, this day is not the actual day that Christ rose from the dead. Gotcha. So for those people, yes, we, we're not doing, we're not celebrating his death and his resurrection. They may think about his resurrection on the, the, the exact uh, day that he uh, rose again. Uh, but we, it was during this time period, around this time period, is not only during the Passover, uh, because that's that's basically when they, they killed on the high Sabbath, dealing with the Passover. Uh, and he was in the ground for uh, three days. And we talked about that. Um, and my relative even pointed out, you know, we put it on Wednesday, because it's really three days in the ground, three days and three nights in the ground. So you, if you know, you got to back up from Sunday, right? So Sunday, early in the morning, right, is 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 when he rose. Okay, so Sunday, so you back up from Sunday, you got Friday, right? So Friday morning, right? You got Saturday. Well, I'm just I'm messing up right now. You got Sunday, right? So Sunday is the day he rose. So that's. He's not there. He's, he's up that day, right? So you got Saturday, Friday, and Thursday. Thursday. So, you know, Wednesday night he was crucified. And then he rose again early in the morning on Saturday. I mean, Sunday. Excuse me. I get that wrong. I see where you get the time, but he has to back it up. So he talking about Wednesday. They put him in the ground uh, before this, uh, they had to put him in the ground for that, uh, during that time. Um, and then he had to, so that, that Wednesday must have been the high Sabbath, or was going to be that Sabbath, that Thursday was going to be that, that high Sabbath. So they had to get him in the ground before that Sabbath uh, was coming up. And then he went through the regular Sabbath day, and then he rose early. The, somewhere along that evening of the, uh, of the Sabbath day, he, he uh, rose. But you can put somebody else can uh, put those calculations in, that's fine. The bottom line is then with the Passover, that period of Passover moves because the, the, if we go by the capital, and not the capital, but you go by the Jewish calendar, Passover moves uh, around a little bit uh, with the 360 day calendar. Closed out 365. So it, it, the point is that we don't get technical about this because it's not about the being technically correct on the technical day. It's about knowing that he did uh, uh, rose again. And I think one of the things that I, I meant to put down here, uh, and, I, and I'll look it up as I'm talking, because one of the things is that this day is, is, is throughout the world, uh, and even with the, the Jewish calendar, uh, it's, it's talking about uh, it's talking about the the holiness of this this time of day, this time of year that we have to really uh, focus on and then throughout this world. There's, there's some form of worshiping. Like, like I said, 
In matter of fact, I like the fact is that even with the the uh, on the Jewish calendar dealing with the Passover, uh, this is when Israel uh, actually was delivered from uh, how would you say the uh, delivering the freedom, right? Uh, and and that's 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 they were redeemed. And, and, and really, I think this is called Glorious, Victor Glorious Resurrection Day. And you know, the fact is that we ourselves to celebrate, are celebrating uh, a victorious uh, resurrection day, a victorious resurrection day in which we uh, are being redeemed. The whole world has been redeemed, been delivered uh, because of what Christ did. I'm sitting there putting it down because I put on these slides I had and I wanted to uh, make sure that I put this in here because I, it's important for us to, to understand that what we're doing uh, this day is really, <laughs> it's really uh, a, a celebration of redemption. A celebration of redemption is what we're doing. And I, and I love the fact is that uh, we need to, we know it's not about the, the bunny rabbit, right? It's not about the, it's not about the pagan god, Esther, you know? And, 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 and really it's not about the, the, the one of the things someone said, well, the children, we do the, the Easter bunny and everything for the children. I, I, you could you could do what you want. I, and I, I ain't gonna put no problem with it, but to let you know that, the root behind it, because a lot of people will sit there and say, uh, "Happy Resurrection Day," right? And and the only problem with that is that this uh, it's, it's 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 a victorious, it's a redemption day. <laughs> uh, it's a redemption day. I, I I love that. It's it's a redemption day, and now we can celebrate. Uh, being redeemed, uh, you know what I mean? We can celebrate being redeemed because because Christ came for the ungodly, you know? Matter of fact, my, my title is gonna be talking about the fact is that uh, Christ died for the ungodly, you know? Even he, he said in one of the scriptures about the fact is that uh, he came for he didn't come for the righteous, right? He came for the unrighteous. And and, and the twist of what I want to put the, the this, this discussion today is that we honor this day and we should honor our, his life, his, his death and his life, his resurrection by not doing what was done to him to put him in the grave. We should not be trying to do the same thing to one another, because that's that's what that's what seemed like it translated it to me of those people who, who did the things such as the crusade, who did things such as the uh, what, what was it called the uh, crusade, the Spanish Inquisition, uh, talk about the the slavery thing and all that other stuff. It's it's we. we that's not who we are. I told y'all before, a, a tree is known by his fruit, right? A tree is known by his fruit. And as a tree is known by his fruit, then we need to be able to demonstrate our life based on his teaching, not your teaching, not your pastor teaching, not your mom or your daddy's teaching, not people who sit there and do the political party teaching, that sit there and do things that hurt other people, that attack other people, that come to put people down. It's about us showing the light of the world that, that he rolled, God sent his son, and so many people say, well, I don't, I don't care. For us to the believers, God sent his son to redeem us, every last one of us. Whether you are a Christian or not, he sent his son to redeem the whole world. 
and because we needed a redemption, because every last one of us, son of God, Christ died for the ungodly. There's no boasting for being ungodly, but there's praise that it did come for the ungodly. <laughs> some, some of y'all may have forgotten that you was ungodly, but, but you were. And, 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 and now you're a redeemed ungodly person. <laughs> Look, the scripture said that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every last one of us. No, there's no boasting in this salvation. This, this, this salvation is because of his love. His redemption is because of his love. So therefore, we don't, and I guess I want to say that because the twist I'm saying is that when we don't show love, we don't show mercy. We don't care about the godly. We don't care about the people incarcerated. We don't care about the sick. Christ died. And he when he walked this world, he, he, he fed the poor. He healed the sick. He cast out demons for those that are godly. <laughs> See, he, he, he forgave the people who delivered them into the hands of the Roman soldiers. He, he did that while they were sitting there mocking him on the front, mocking at him and talking about him. He did sit there and say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. <laughs> and, and, and see, those are things, the characteristic of his nature is what we're supposed to portray as believers. When we look at our history, we look up say, we realize that no, that, that is not Christ. When we look at racism, that is not the teaching of Christ. And you need to understand that. That is not the teaching of Christ. You know, he gave us his commandment in first in John 13, 34. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, but you also love me. 35 said, he said, these, these men will know that you are my disciples for the love that you show them. And even when he did the great commission, the great commandments, the two great commandments, first one is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind, all thy strength. And then the second is to love thy neighbor as thyself. Maybe you didn't get the clue, but the thread of the gospel is about love. And the fact of the redemption. Amen. The point is this. Christ died for what you, some of you have been doing. And some of you still do. I mean, I'm sitting there, when you talk about the politics of the day, how people sit there and want to it, it just, not even just politics, part of politics, but also part of just, just the, 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 what I call the social injustice of people and trying to do all kinds of bad things to people. Man, listen, that ain't Christ. That ain't the teaching of Christ. I don't know what people thinking. I don't know what people feeling, but I'm gonna tell you something. Christ died for the ungodly, and there, and then those who still want to remain ungodly, because the fact is, the signs of who you are, whether you are bad and corrupt, or whether you good, is based on your actions, was based on the fruits that you bear. The fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law, but. If you're sitting there doing the work of the flesh, if you're sitting there hating people, if you're sitting there trying to hurt people, if you're sitting there trying to abuse people, just because you find that they're ungodly, you gotta remember, first of all, Christ died for the ungodly, that's one thing. Second thing is that he didn't teach you, he didn't call you to, to preach hate. <laughs> he, didn't pre he didn't call you to endorse hate. He called you to love one another, amen. And that's what people, for those who will listen to this, is understand this. We are supposed to be. So when you see a believer, they should be shining their light. And their light should be bearing good fruit, right? We ain't talking about a flashlight. We ain't talking about the sun. We're talking about the, 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 the 
actions, in the characteristics, in the nature, and the glorious gospel. Because this day is all about us recognizing that Christ died for the ungodly, and for the ungodly, they can have a glorious resurrection day. We, we didn't die. For, no, there was no, there was no bite. <laughs> I know that, but matter of fact, but my cousin was talking about the fact is that about the futility, right? That this, this is this is they, they normally do the they were doing this the, the pagan worship and all that stuff. The the, the god of fertility, uh, Esther, and, and and the fact is that they they, they pick rabbits because they said rabbits are probably the most uh, prolific uh, in reproducing one another. Uh, so, so they 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 use the rabbit. That's where the rabbit comes from. Is that? And then we talk about the fact that Esther, who claimed that she was born from an egg, you know, uh, but that's and she was be the goddess of fertility. But the reality, what matters the most, <laughs> is is that it's it's a it's a celebration of redemption. This is what this day is about the celebration of redemption. We have been redeemed and we didn't earn it, it was given. We, we, we are now uh, children of God through the blood of just Yeshua. <laughs> Listen, this, 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 is, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, hallelujah. Every day is a, a, a redemption day for somebody to come and receive Yeshua as their personal Lord and Savior. And every last one of us who are called, who are believers, are to be able to preach the gospel, preach the good news throughout the world. So people who don't know what's going on today, let me tell you, this day, this particular day, is the day we honor, remember, Moralize Memorial Day and then the Resurrection Day. See, they, they, they took their thought, they had a victory. <laughs> they thought that they had a, death thought they had a victory uh, three days ago. <laughs> death thought they had a victory. It did not have a victory. <laughs> it, 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 it was deceived because it could not hold him in the grave. Huh? <laughs> it couldn't hold him. I think it, let me see if I can find that scripture too, just to put that in there. <laughs> death, death, death could not hold him. See, he, and, and then those who sit there think of weak religion, the fact is that he laid down his life on his own. He had, he had plenty of resources to, to keep from, uh, uh, <laughs> keep from, 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 from being crucified, huh? He laid down his life, saints. He laid down his life. You know, it's, 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 that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the blessing of this gospel and of this day of what we're celebrating. Like I said, we're not saying, we're not pinpointing this actual day. We're pinpointing, recognizing that he rose from the dead after the evil thought that they could, uh, take him out huh <laughs> they, they they thought that they could hold him they thought that they could silence him you can't silence uh, uh, the gospel you know you, you you just can't you can't do it you, you 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 can't you can't keep the gospel down <laughs> it is it is a victory you know, it is a victory that, that, that we, all of us, have been redeemed this day. We, that's why I call it, I said, I think we should call it a title uh, for this particular uh, message is uh, for this resurrection or victorious resurrection day. 
uh, that we celebrate. Well, all these people are going to come to to service uh, this day, and they call it Easter Sunday. Uh, it's, it's, it's good for people to know that this is not a, a uh, <laughs> hey, Brother Addison, this, 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 this day is, is not about pagan worship. <laughs> no, no, this day is a victorious day. This day is a holy celebration. And every day, every day is a victorious celebration of the, of the, of the glorious gospel. Man, I tell you, you can't beat it when you think about it. Uh, but we want to make sure you understand, we, we, Christ came for people like me. Now, Christ came for people like you. Christ came for people who needed to be redeemed, and everybody, every last one of us needed to be redeemed. So this is a victorious resurrection, or you can call it a re uh, matter of fact, look, maybe maybe I'll just change the title for people to understand, not just the title of this message, I'm talking about even this day. If we, if, to, to make the uh, commercial people uh, happy, we can call it a redemption day, a victorious redemption day. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that way, they maybe they can find their way because you know, all they want is money, right? How they can make money. And the set of us, that's why they get the Easter Bunny and all that other stuff, man. They make money. People come to church on, on uh, come to service today, uh, or more than any other day of the year for most uh, ministries. People come to service uh, because they remember Easter Sunday. Uh, <laughs> and you know, I, I I wouldn't put people down for. Uh, get them in any way you can, Father. I'm concerned. Come on in. Uh, we just want to make sure you remember that the reason for this day, the reason for this uh, worship day, and, and keep in mind if you ever notice that this is not a day where people actually, uh, this is not a federal holiday, uh, if you ever notice that, because it's, think, you know, I guess the government can't can't do it anyway but it is a is a holy day it's a holy week because of the passover sunday and so forth but the bottom line is man this this is this is a day of celebration and if for kids i guess you can you know to get to break put their new clothes on and all that stuff that's good stuff man uh but the main thing is it's, it's a resurrection day a victorious day there you go, Brother Addison. I'm going to go ahead and keep on pressing. You jump in and tell you want the good brother. But happy, victorious, resurrection day or redemption day. Because Christ we've, mass. Been, we've been redeemed. Huh? We'll call it Christ Mass. Come on, Christ Mass. Celebration, if you want to call it. That's what that Mass means. Just like the Christmas, you know, the anointed celebration of, of his birth. Even though that wasn't his day, that's fine, people. We, we understand. All we know is that he was born. But this day is to recognize that he rose again from the dead. He took, look, the evil thought they beat him and they could not hold him because it is his power. His power, man. That's what we want to talk about. Fruit of my title today, good brother, as we sit there and let these people know why we're celebrating this day. Oh, glory to God. And then I got a couple of scriptures that came up that I want to sit there and put out on people. But look at this. I call it, you know, first of all, teaching the gospel, which is what we're supposed to go teach or preach the gospel. That's what we call to do. Yeshua's way. Yeshua means Christ, Jesus Christ, we're talking about. And, and, and see, Jesus is a transliteration name. We're talking about the name of Yeshua, huh? And the fact is that it is written. See, I, we, when we get on this platform, everything we talk about is based on what's written. See, I know some nappy head person want to sit there and try to find any kind of way to, to, to go against what you're saying. But we're going to sit there and say what is written. Then we're going to try to relate what's written to the day, to what's going on in my life today. But today, though, 
is to let people know it is a resurrection day, a glorious resurrection day, because that's why I am excited about the good news that he died for the ungodly, and I'm one of those people. There's no boasting in my salvation. There's no boasting in my redemption. I'm just redeemed because he made me so. Huh? Christ died. Isn't that right, Brother Ass? It is written. That's, that's, that's good. Somebody gonna say, well, he don't know. But look, it's written in Romans 5, 6. Christ died. Firstborn. For the, the ungodly. <laughs> yes, he did. Because we're some ungodly people. And the thing about it is we're supposed to conform back to the image. And, and, and you know, the twist we always put in the fact is when y'all... Those of you that sit there, especially the ones of you that call and claim yourself to be Christians, you're supposed to be conforming to the image of his son. You're supposed to be conforming to the teaching, his doctrine. And if you sit there and show anger and hate and brutality and prejudice and racism and everything else, you, you, you're telling us who you are. Because my Bible told me it is written that a tree is known by his, what, Brother Addison? Fruit. His fruit, meaning his action. You can call yourself a Christian all day long. I'm telling everybody, that's one of you sitting there listening to us. You call yourself a Christian all day long, but a tree is known by his fruit. And if you bear bad fruit, and I'm talking about consistently bear bad fruit, if you doctrinally believe you're supposed to bear bad fruit, because the people that dipped those Templars that went up sit there and did that crusade, Ain't nobody tell them to go in there with no blade and swords. The, the weapons of warfare, the, these weapons are not for the flesh. We're talking about weapons used to fight a spiritual war. And we don't fight it in the flesh, we fight it with love. Amen? So this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.